us? Hi. Hi. So uh, my name is Rochelle. Uh, I'm I actually I'm from Canada, but I just came here to India yesterday to visit the family and all. Okay. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Same here. Thank you. Uh, hi, ma'am. My name is Kajol and I'm from India. Nice to meet you too, Kajol. Hi, ma'am. I'm Nidani from Sri Lanka. Okay, yeah, nice to meet you. You too, ma'am. And me, I'm from Mauritius Island. You know it? Yes, have heard about it. <laughs> yeah. So my name is Beatrice, and I was just asking the other if we can have a small presentation, your name, and you came from which country? So my name is Harry, and I am from India, Punjab, and currently I'm living in uh, Winnipeg, Canada. Okay. Okay, good. Nice to meet you, Harry. Nice to meet you, too. We are going to wait two minutes and then we see if, in case we don't have the other, we start. Okay for everyone? Yeah, all okay. Yeah, sure. Okay, thank you. Merci. Hello, Akilan, is that? Hello. How are Bonjour. you? Bonjour. I'm good. And I just wanted if you can present yourself, your name, and you're from which country? I'm Akilan. I'm from uh, Tamil Nadu, India. Yeah. And uh, I've already done French in my 11th and 12th for two years. And it has been a long gap since then, approximately okay. eight years. So I just wanted to restart and then uh, do it from the beginning. Okay. Good. And I'm working towards Steph. Good then. So I think we're going to start. So for today, I'm going to share my screen and just let me know when you can see it. Okay. So can you see my screen? Yes, ma'am. We do. Okay, so for today's session, we're going to start with the preposition. So it will be les prépositions. Okay. So the preposition or words which link two related parts of a sentence, they are placed in front of nouns in order to indicate a relationship between that noun and the verb adjective or noun that preceded. So the relationship between now and the other word or phrases in the sentence too, and the often express location in terms of space or time. And the most typical preposition in French are a and a. So we have the a with the accent mark. Okay? So mainly that mostly we're going to use a preposition in order to, to relate a sentence. Okay. So this little explanation is okay for you. Now here we have the example of the preposition. So you can see just next to it we have all the English part. And I'm going to do all of the French part. Okay, and then after that, I would like that we do the pronunciation. You try to do the pronunciation. Is it okay for you? Yes. Okay. Yes. So for the first part, the first one, it will be A. À côté de. Après. Autour de. Avant. Avec, dans, sans, sous, sur, de, 
derrière, devant, en face de, envers, loin de, pour, près de, au-dessus, au-dessous, au-dessus. This is the two laws. We must really be careful below and above. As in French, the law sport, it may seem that it's a bit similar. You must make attention, be careful with the pronunciation. So for below, it will be au-dessous and above, au-dessus. Okay. So all this makes sense to you, the preposition, which are in English, and how it is in French. Do you want I repeat it one more time? Yes, please, yeah. Okay. A. À côté de. Après. Autour de. Avant. Avec, dans, sans. Just one minute. We're going to create the two. Hi, deep and Pratamesh. Hello. Hello, ma'am. Hello, ma'am. How are you? How are you? Fine, and you? I'm good. I'm good, ma'am. Okay, we have just started. And um, we are doing... We are doing the preposition. Okay, I will just continue and then come back to you. Fine. Okay. So, let's continue. We are doing the pronunciation on it. Avec, dans, sans, sous, sur, de, derrière, Devant, en face de, envers, loin de, pour, près de, au-dessous, au-dessus. And just a little recap on that proclamation day. So these are the prepositions that we are going to have in French. And this will help us to relate, to link two sentences. Okay? So, it's okay for the pronunciation for everyone? Okay for me, ma'am. Okay, good. And who want to try to do this little exercise in the, of pronunciation? Um, can I try? Yes, you can. Um, a, a coat do, a prayer, auto do, avant, avec, da, sa, su, sio, then it's do. Yes. Uh, behind, I didn't get it. Derrière. Derrière. Yes. Deck here, Deva. Our fast, our face do. Our beer. Loy do. Poor. And then it's a uh, last three also I couldn't catch. Pray do. Oh, can you please repeat? Pray do. Okay. It is. Pré de. Pré de. Yes. Au dessous. Au dessous. And the other one, you see that the two, it's a bit similar. Really be careful with the pronunciation. So for below, it is au dessous. Au -dessous. You get it? Oh, do so. Yes. 
Très bien. And for above, it is au-dessus. It sounds pretty similar. Yes, it sounds a bit similar. But for au-dessous, you hear the sound ou. But for above, au-dessus, you hear the sound u. Right. You can try it. Au-dessus. Oh, do so. Yes, really good. Thank and you. someone else, you want to try it? Who want to try it? If you can try some of it, not all, it's okay too. Who want to try Can it? I try? Yes. Can I try can. it? A, uh, accord do, après, a to do, avant, avec, Don't son so so do the do en force do ever 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 long do pour do er do Right? Or this one? Or this one? Can you hear me, Akila? Yes, I can hear you now, but just you dropped for a second. The second one, au dessus. Au-dessous. Yes. Au-dessous. Okay. Au-dessous. Au-dessus. Yes. Right. Okay. You hear the sound U and U. 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 Yes. Okay. Au-dessous. Au-dessus. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Très bien. Yeah. Merci beaucoup, Akilan. And one loss. Who want to try it? Uh, I will try that. Yes, you can, Oshé. Thank you. A, a code du, après, autour du, avant, avec, dans, sans, sous, sur, uh, is it sur? Yes. Sur, okay. Uh, du, there here. The one on first do on where loin do who red 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 oh this oh this suit yeah yeah thank you so you see all the, these words all the preposition okay Now we are going to see some example now. Can you see it? Yes. So for the first one, in the first column, do we have all the preposition and how to express it? And in the loss, we will have the example. So for the first one, Where to use a with an accent mark when we are going to express for a location before a city, a masculine country, or a building. Okay, like here, the example he lives in Paris, il habite à Paris. Okay, okay, for the first one. For the second one now. Yes, ma'am. Okay. For the second one. Oh. It will be expressed when we are going to express for a location 
O before a feminine country. Like here, we are going to travel in China. Nous allons voyager en Chine. The third one. Dans. To express, where to express. For a location, before a country, a city, a building, a street, or a room. The first example. He entered the room. Il est entré dans la chambre. What do you do inside Paris? Vous faites quoi dans Paris? She is in the kitchen. Elle est dans la cuisine. So you understand a bit the meaning of when using a preposition it is okay this makes sense for you yes okay thank you i continue okay preposition c where to express a location for a person or a professional's place. Like, I am going to the doctor's. Je vais chez le médecin. He is at his father's. Il est chez son père. So you understand, for chez, it is when you're going to describe where it is. And then, like, I'm going to the doctor's. Je vais chez le médecin. Ok? And then, sur. To express a location on something. The cat is on the table. Le chien est sur la table. So this will always be when you're going to use the expression what you put on, like you put something on the table. On the chair. Okay? The, then you will use sur. The preposition sur. Okay? And then. To. To express a location and something. Le chien est sous le lit. The dog is under the bed. Le chien est sous le lit. So it is under. Every time you're going to express something which is under, you will always use sous. Okay? Like you will say, my shoes are under the bed. So it will be, mes chaussures sont sous le lit. Okay? Now, contre. To express a location, Against something. The chair is against the wall. La chaise est contre le mur. And then, entre. A location, to express a location, between. The desk is between the bed and the wardrobe. Le bureau est entre le lit et l'armoire. Okay, so this helps you a bit to understand where and how, when to use the preposition. Like you see, every time you're going to express, to describe something, like which is a location, which is on something, it will always be sur. Okay, when you will use to express a location, before a city or a masculine country or a building, you will say A. A apostrophe. Okay? Is it clear for you? This help, this makes sense to you? Ma'am, it's the first one an exceptional because A means to or at, right? It should be at. 
but is it Excuse it is in here can you repeat please the first one uh okay. yes so that means at right yes you mean but here we use it for in you are asking me he lives if... in paris yes it should be dance d a n s right is it exceptional here or how is it i'm unable to understand i can't understand can you write it in the chat box for me no no, no. uh the first one i can explain yes. in detail the first one it is il habite a paris right we oui. a means a here. means yes in the proportion that... in, yeah here yes at but it, it is written as in he lives in paris he lives in paris it is in the place where he is okay and then you will say il habite a paris like you will say he li le likes it depend on how you are using him it okay like you say here it is an exception that's what you are going mm. you are saying yes yeah i'm asking yes is it an yes. exception yes okay because it depends on how this is an example it's depend on what uh, it will go in mostly not only in this sentences like he lives in paris so the way you're going to tell it it will become mm. il habite a paris okay so for okay. these sentences you are going to use a okay 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 ma'am thank you so this help you yeah it's clear thank you okay you're welcome thank you so let's continue now we are going to do the colors and in french it will be les couleurs so for blue it will be bleu white blanc red rouge yellow jaune green vert orange orange brown marron pink rose black noir gray gris purple violet i will repeat it on in french now bleu blanc rouge jaune vert orange marron rose noir gris violet so it is les couleurs okay and who want to try this little pronunciation for the colors nina nin don't you want to try it yeah i'll go ahead i'm not too sure about the rose and uh, pink one <laughs> pink one it is rose rose okay let me try bleu blanc rouge this uh, jaune jaune vert orange orange mm, marron yes cross noir gray violet thank you thank you and oh shell you want to try it 
Ah, ya, no, mira, hay color. So, blue, blonde, gold, John, red, orange, marrón, rose, 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 noir, gris, violet. One last one. Deep. When I when are you try it? We can't hear you properly. Blue. Blanc. Rook. Yone. Red. Ohan. Marhon. Rose. Rose. Nar. Gris. Violet. Gray, it is gris. Gris. Yes. Very bien, thank you. Another one, who wanna try it? Uh, Ma'am, can you please repeat the pronunciation of the color yellow? Jaune. You want to try it, Kajal? Uh, yes, I can try it. Um, blue, black, kosh, jaune, vo, okanj, maho, kosh, noe, gri, violet. Very bien. So these colors, les couleurs. Let's continue. And now you will see that in French, nouns and adjectives have gender. And the gender of masculine or feminine. Like here, for example, for the color green, it is vert. So vert is a masculine form of green. So vert is a feminine form. So when we convert it in a feminine form, we add the letter E. So it becomes VED. Ha, so you have seen that we have the gender, masculine and feminine. But in colors too, we do have this, where we will have some colors that will Take the feminine form too. Okay. So let's see here. You have the masculine, feminine, and also the plural form. Okay. Now for red, rouge. In masculine, it will be rouge. Feminine, it stays the same. Rouge, but when it will be masculine and feminine plural, we will add S with it. But it will still be pronounced rouge. Okay? Now for black. For masculine, it will be noir. It stays the same. But when it will be for feminine singular, we will add the letter E, E. It will be become noir. Okay. And then for masculine plural, we are going to use the masculine singular and take it to do the plural. We will add only the S when we are going to do only the masculine plural. Okay, but when we are going to use a feminine plural, we will add ES. Like in feminine, we add E, 
and when it will be singular only e and it will be plural we will add s with it is it okay can you understand yes ma'am we can okay good so for white masculine singular it will be sorry ma'am yes uh, i have a question so yes. how would you pronounce the uh, masculine plural the noir and the feminine plural same pronunciation as a noir yes yes it will be the okay. same only the writing with that will change writing. yes okay. yeah. Thank you. it will be pronounced the same now for white masculine singular it will be blanc but feminine singular it will be Blanche, masculine plural, blanc, we will add only S, and feminine plural, you take the feminine singular, and you add the S with it. It will be the same pronunciation, blanche. Okay, so for pink, rose, masculine singular and feminine singular. It will be the same. And masculine and feminine plural, it will take only S. Okay? For yellow, jaune, masculine singular and feminine singular, it will stay the same. Masculine plural and feminine plural, you will just add S. Okay. Now for blue, bleu, masculine singular, it will be bleu, b l u u. But when you will do it in, write it in feminine singular, it will take e at the end, e, because it is feminine. Masculine plural for blue, bleu, you will take the masculine singular. And add only S with it. Feminine plural for blue, bleu, you will put ES. Okay? Now for green, like we have seen just before in the example, masculine singular, it will be ver. Feminine singular, vet. So you hear the sound T at the end because it, you have Vert. Yeah. Masculine plural. You will take the masculine singular and you will just add the S for the plural. And for feminine, it will be vert with an S. Okay. So, purple. Violet. Masculine feminine. It will be violet. Feminine singular, here the pronunciation will change. It will become violet. Okay? Masculine plural, it will stay the same like the singular. You will just add the S, it will be violet. And feminine plural, it will, you will add the S with the feminine singular and it will become violet. This you make be careful with the pronunciation because for the masculine and the feminine it's not the same pronunciation like the others okay now for gray masculine singular gris feminine singular gris you will add e at the end e. masculine plural it won't take any s it will stay the same like the singular, it will be gris. Feminine plural for gris, it will be gris. So, for gris and purple, you will see that the masculine and the feminine, the pronunciation is not the same. So, for purple, violet for masculine and violet for feminine. Okay? For gris. Masculine, it will be gris. 
feminine, it will be grise. Now for orange. Orange. Orange, we stay the same, both in singular, masculine singular, feminine singular, and masculine plural and feminine plural, it will stay the same. Okay? It will be orange. Brown now. Marron. Here also, we have these two exceptions in the color, which will not change neither for the singular nor for the plural. It will stay the same. And also for the feminine, it won't take any E or S. Okay? Only for these two colors. It's clear for this part? Yes, it's clear. Mm. Clear for me too. Okay. So let's continue. Now we are going to have yes, a little... Yes, tell me. One small thing about brown. Um, do we use another word, word also for brown? No, brown. you... Brown, it will be marron. What about brown? Brown. B R U N. Brown, color brown. Yes, it will be. One minute. Yeah. I come back to the. Yes, brown color. Do we it's... call it brown also? B R U N? O U N? Yes. No, it's not the same thing. Okay. B O U N. Like this, I write it in the chat box. Yes. No, it's not. It's not the color. All right. Okay. So it's okay. Or it's not. It's like not for the color. Well, it's when you're talking, maybe. It's not when, boy, you will use it mostly. I understand why you're asking for the color, okay. It's when you're talking about when someone is, in French mostly, you say, uh, il est brun, right? All right, okay. I wasn't so, so too sure about it. <laughs> So, this one, you use it maybe when you're describing someone. All right. That is a brown, is it? B -R -U -N. Yes. Okay. Yes. It is when you're describing the color of skin of someone. Right. Okay. Understood, okay. ma'am. Thank you. But when you're going to use it, yes, it is a color. When you're going to use to describe something mainly, you will use this one in the PowerPoint. Brown. Okay. Okay? Okay. So it will be maro. Wow. Yes. Right. Thank you, ma'am. You're welcome. So let's continue. Now we are going to see for the a little vocabulary about the animals. So a chien dog. Un chat pour cat, une vache cow, un poisson fish, un cheval horse, un serpent snake, une tortue turtle, un lapin rabbit, ou un singe monkey, un lion lion. Un renard fox, un éléphant, elephant, un mouton sheep, un loup wolf, un zèbre zebra, une chouette owl. I will do only the French part now. Un chien, un chat, une vache. Un poisson, un cheval, un serpent, 
une tortue, un lapin, un singe, un lion, un renard, un éléphant, un mouton, un loup, un zèbre, une chouette. So you see here, it's help you also to describe, to see whether the word is feminine or masculine. As you have the un or une just in front. So when you have un, it is for masculine and une for feminine. That you know it, right? Yes, yes. Yes, ma'am. And who want to try to do a little exercise on this or pronunciation for this one? If you can, if you don't want to do all the words, you can do some of the words. It's okay. What a mess. You want to try it? Yes, ma'am. Uh, Un shen, un shat, un washe, un poison, un cheval, un serpent, un tortue, un lapin, un singe, un lion, singe, un lion, un renard, un elephant, un Mutant, un loup, un zèbre, un chiot. Un zèbre. Un pratamèche, mm -hmm. for U-N, mm -hmm. okay. it is un. It's like you're uh. telling the number one in French, you know it? It is un. Oh, yes. So here, in order to describe the word that you're going to have, so you will see, uh. Uh. yes, it will be un renard. Always try okay. to remember when you're doing it, you have to, to tell it. Always remember the number one in French. You have it the uh. most, easy. it is easier. Un, le numéro yeah. un, c'est un. Uh. Yes, good. Très bien, really good. Another one who want to try it? Uh, I will try that. Yes, Rochelle, thank you. Un chien, un chien, un vache, un poisson, un cheval, un serpent. Un tortue, un lapin, un saint, un lion, un renard, un elephant, un mouton, un loup, un zebra. How do you pronounce that? Un chouette. Un chouette. Okay. Yes. No, no, a uh, zebra one. Uh, un uh, zebra. Zebra. Okay. Un zebra. Un chouette. Very good. Very good. And you can, you can continue at home to try to do the detailed exercise of pronunciation. This will help you. Okay. So now let's see here. We are going to see some vocabulary verb ab word about the object. So it will be les objets. And here we have le salon, un canapé, un fauteuil, un meuble télé, une fenêtre avec rideau. So here next to each word, you have the little picture. 
It is okay for you to identify it. You can identify the picture. Um, I have a question. The yes. fourth word which you just said describes the just the window or window curtains and everything. Yes. It is a window with curtain. Okay. But when you're going to, you see the picture. It is okay for everyone that you have you are able to identify the object. Yes, ma'am. Okay, for me. Okay, then I continue. So yes, sir, Cadel. For the fourth one, it is a window with curtain. So it is une fenêtre avec rideau. Une porte. Une table à manger. Une chaise, une cheminée, une étagère, une lampe, un tabouret, un porte-manteau, une horloge, un lustre. And next to it now, les meubles. So some furniture. Le lit, le fauteuil, l'armoire, le canapé, la cuisinière, le miroir, la commode, la chaise, le placard, l'évier. So it is okay for you this part? Do you want I repeat it one more time the pronunciation? Yes ma'am, please repeat. Yes, okay. Un canapé, un fauteuil, un meuble télé, une fenêtre avec rideau, une porte, une table à manger. Une chaise, une cheminée, une étagère, une lampe, un tabouret, un porte-manteau, une horloge, un lustre, le lit, le fauteuil, L'armoire, le canapé, la cuisinière, le miroir, la commode, la chaise, le placard, l'évier. C'est que? Yes, Rochelle? Oh, hi, ma'am. Uh, so, just have a question. That when we describe the chair, uh, just normal, it's un chair. And in the furniture part, it's la chair. So yes, it's, it's the. You can use both as okay. your la as the and uh, un. It is feminine word. It is an article oh, that okay. describes the word. Okay. So both means uh, chair only, right? Or the it's chair is yes. large chair. Yes. Okay. yes. It's mm. just only that un and la, it is an article mm. that describes the gender of the word. Yeah. Okay. 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 So un and la, it is for mm. feminine. Like we say, okay. une chaise. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Look here. For the room, la chambre, un lit, une table de chevet, un miroir, une fenêtre avec rideau, 
une porte, une commode, une lampe, une un mode dressing, une penderie, des escaliers. So these are some things that you have in the room, which is la chambre. So for the room, it will be la chambre. Okay. It's okay for you? You want to repeat it one more time? Oh, yes, yes. So, it's in the room. La chambre. Only. Un table de chevet. Un micro. Un fenêtre. Fenêtre avec gridou. Un porte. Un commode. Un lamp. Un armoire dressé. Un fondre. Des escaliers. Très bien. Thank you, Rochelle. Merci. No problem. Merci. Akilan, you want to try it? Yes. A lit. Un table du cheve. A mirror. Un fenêtre avec redox. Rideau. Un Radio, radio. Un porte, un commode, un lamp, un armor dressing, un pen, pender. How do you pronounce Pondry. this one? Pondry. 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 Yes. This escalier. 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 Très bien. Merci. Thank you, Akilan. And one last one. Harry, you want to try it? Yeah. Ali, un table de cheve, un mirror, un fenêtre avec rideau, un port, un commode, un lamp, un armor dressing, un pondry, d'escalier. Très bien. Très bien. Thank you. Merci. Thank you. So you see, it's not really difficult. So let's continue. The last part. So here we are going to see the nasal sound. You will see in the first column, I put all the symbol phonetic that we have. We, are, we will do today. Okay. And the second column, you will have the different autograph of how to write it. And then the last one, we will have the example. So for the first one, the symbol, it will be an A women accent mark. Can you see? And this will make the sound A. Oh. So every time when in French, you will have, you will see that when you're talking, you have different sound. I don't know if you have been able to identify it. Like here, we are going to do some of the nasal sound. And for the first one, the sound, the sim symbol phonetic will be an A ah, with accent mark. But the sound that it makes, it will be A. Oh. Okay. And the way that we are going to write it, we will have A N, A M, E N, E M. 
So these four will, it is different ways of writing, but it makes the sound on. Okay? So first example. Un banc. Une ambulance. Une tente. L'embarras. So you can hear it, that it makes the sound on. Can you identify it? Like I say, un bon, une ambulance, une tente, l'embarras. It makes the sound on. But when you're going to write it, you will always have these four ways of writing it. A N, A M, E N, N, E M. Okay? Now the second one, you will have like an E capital with accent mark. This symbol makes the sound E. Eh, where you will have it will be written. I N I M Y N Y M A I N A I M E I N All this when you're going you write it but when you're going to do the pronunciation it will make the sound E eh. Like listen to the word that I'm going to say la fin, simple, une synthèse, le teint, la main, la fin, gendre. Can you hear the sound hein, in all these words that I said? Have you been able to hear it? Yes, yeah. you have been able to hear it. So for the first one, it makes a sound O. Oh. Second one, E. Eh. And the third one, it is like a C, but in the sense, the sens inverse. It's like a reverse. This one, it also have an accent mark. And this one makes the sound O. Oh. But when you're going to write it, we have to write it O N O M. Both make the sound O. Like for example, un melon, une ombre. So you can hear the sound um, um, um. Okay. The last one. The symbol will be a O N E which are attached together. And this will make the sound un. It will be written U N N U M. Like here, for example, we have brun, du parfum, un. We have the first one, which makes the sound en. Second one, un. Third one, o, and fourth one, e. So every time when you're going to, to talk, you will say in French, you, you will always have different sound. But here is just to learn the phonetic symbol that will help you with the different ways that we are going to write it. But it will make the same sound. Okay, en, en, un, un. Yeah, like you have seen in the example, it makes the same sound. Like for the first line, un, bon, une ambulance. So you hear the sound, en. Okay? It's okay for this part for you? Akilan, it is okay for you?
Yes, ma'am. Harry. Yes, ma'am. Okay, so you have been able to understand the concept of the... Yes. Now, where do we see this phonetic? Uh, this is something like we which we find in dictionaries. Actually, where do you find we... these phonetics? Where, where, where do you we... find these phonetic? Find these phonetic. Where do you find it when you're good? You want to see all the phonetic? Where do I, where do I use it normally? These phonetics. You won't use a phonetic symbol. The f it, you just have mm. the phonetic symbol, but okay. it's just to help you to what sound it's make. You will mostly use the autograph. You must know that it makes a sound oh, but when it it makes a sound oh, you will have it can be written with. A N, A M, E N, N E M. Okay. 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 So you need more to concentrate on the sound. Like you said, it will be written different ways, but it will make the same sound. So when you're going to write, you won't use a phonetic symbol. Okay? Yeah, that's clear. Clear, ma'am. Okay. So let's do the little, the last one. Like you see here, we have three symbol, phonetic symbol. We have the E. With an apostrophe on it, an accent mark, which makes the sound eh. like you see here. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight ways, seven ways that makes the sound eh. Okay, like we have been, we have example like la fin, same, la main. La fin. So here we have fin. You can hear the sound fin. fin. Okay. Now the second one, the a with an accent mark on it. This makes the sound on. So the word will be blanc like white we did before you remember we did blanc we hear the sound on and the last one the c which is reverse it is the sound mm. so the word it is we say bridge in french bon. we hear the sound mm. we have Pain. We hear the sound and blanc the sound on bon, the sound mm. okay so you see you have the, the you don't need to concentrate on this phonetic symbol this is just to help you to see which sound it's make but this mostly make you understand that the sound may have different ways of writing but it will make the same sound every time okay it's okay akilan yes ma'am that's clear thank you okay you're welcome and for the other, it is okay for you? Yeah, ma'am, it's okay. How are you? Are you, are you okay? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Nindani? Yeah, ma'am, all good. Thanks. 
You are welcome. And Pratamesh. Yes, ma'am. All clear. Okay. So you just need to try to do a the little exercise of pronunciation. And every time you will see when you're doing the pronunciation, you will meet different sound. But every time you, it won't be written the same ways. But it will always make the same sound. So these are what we call the nasal sound. Okay. 